Greetings and hello. My name is Ambassador Professor David Ewan of the United States. I represent the Civilian Office of Ambassadorship in the areas of business, education, and technology. Our coverage area is Asia, the Middle East, Europe, Russia, and Latin America. Today, we also welcome our visitors from the United States. Thank you and welcome to Inspire. We have been going through a pandemic and we are at a time in the United States that churches are beginning to open. It's been, oh, two months or a little bit more that churches have been closed and people are trying to figure out how to return. The reason why people are asking about how to return to the church is because They've been away from it so long. Two months may not seem like a long time, but when it comes to a spiritual walk, it requires consistency. And when that consistency is interrupted, it is a severe shock. So what I'm here to talk to you about today are the four ways you can come closer once again to Jesus Christ. I understand it's been very difficult for churches to be able to reach out to a congregation when the buildings have been forced closed due to the laws of the land. And we need to follow the laws of the land as shown in Romans chapter 13, verse one through three. So with obedience, churches have been closed. One way churches have been able to reach out is through the medium, just like Inspire or, or other programs on television that churches have been able to do. But not all churches were able to do that. So there has been a separation. Now the church body is the community of people that God wants us to be. And without the fellowship and the congregation that a church offers, that congregation is hard to glue together consistently. So that is what I'm talking about, is there's been a little bit of a fracture. So today, I'm going to talk about the four ways you can come closer to Jesus Christ once again, as we slowly put the church back together in terms of having a congregation built and moving forward. You see, Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. And we know that, but we have to be reminded of that. But more importantly, as it relates to you personally, he's also your personal savior. You see, Jesus gave his life for all mankind, as well as you. You see, he died for you. He is the true source of love, peace, and happiness. Now, during the pandemic, and while churches were closed, we kind of lost some of that love, peace, and happiness. Some people have become broken during this time of restriction. So, what we're talking about today is the return of the love, peace, and happiness that God wants you to have. You deserve to know yourself that Jesus Christ lives and loves you. Now, you know that intellectually, but that needs to be instilled once again in your spirit so that you really know it. So what I have are some four simple things to learn more about Jesus again, and even more, and to continue to grow your relationship with Jesus. Now, the first one may not seem simple. You may not even like it, but I'm going to make it the first one. The first one is to read about Jesus in the scriptures. You can listen to your smart device. You can listen to an audio book. You can read it uh, on your phone. You can read a physical Bible. But however you do it, get connected to the scripture read about Jesus in the scriptures. You see, in order to come closer to Jesus, you have to learn about him. You have to study him. It's like a good friend. 
The only reason why a good friend is called a good friend is because you know the good friend. You see, the scriptures teach of Jesus and his gospel, and you can learn so much. As you study the scriptures, you will feel the love Jesus has for you. As that grows, that's the happiness, that's the peace, the love, the joy. You see, the New Testament contains the first-hand accounts of Jesus Christ's earthly ministry, allowing us to learn both from his example and his words. And that's how Jesus taught us. He taught us through his teachings. He taught us through his parables. And he taught us through example. So now after you learn a little bit about him, it's time for number two, and that is to worship him. We worship God. We worship Jesus. You see, the church is the perfect place to draw closer to Jesus Christ. And right now, the churches are opening. You see, the churches are a refuge from the chaos and distractions of the world. While the churches were closed under a mandated law during the pandemic, we've lost our refuge from the chaos and distractions of the world. And because of that, we've lost our peace, love, joy, and happiness. We need to get back to that. So again, that is why the church is the perfect place to draw closer to Jesus Christ. And we need that refuge that the church body gives us. Remember, it's not just the building, it's the congregation. That congregation gives us what we need. You see, worshiping Jesus and attending church services shows your desire, your personal desire, to follow him. It can also help you learn more about Jesus Christ because the Bible is a teaching tool. We learn more about Jesus Christ who are striving from others who follow him when we fellowship with others in the church body. You see, the ministry and the Bible and what Jesus offers shows us that we're not alone, that we were never intended to have this walk with the Lord alone. First and foremost, we have Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's why we walk with him. But while we walk with him, we walk with our brothers and sisters so that we're all in one accord. That gives us the strength. So that's number two, to worship him. Let me go to number three. And this is the fun one. It's to serve others. You see, in the scriptures, we read that Jesus Christ always went about doing good. And we see that in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. He was constantly serving others. He spent time with the sick, the afflicted, the sinners, and the poor. That is what Jesus taught us. That everyone is a child of God. That we are not to separate ourselves not only from Jesus, but from our brothers and sisters as well. Once again, it's the congregation that is the actual church. See, Jesus taught, healed, and loved all who came unto him. That's the example that Jesus teaches us. This is the behavior that we should follow. When we strive to treat others like Jesus did, we learn more about him because of following his behavior. And because of that, we become more like him. And that brings us to the level that God called us to be. And number four, number four, we follow his teachings. We follow his teachings. You see, Jesus taught, if you love me, keep my commandments. And that's in John chapter 14, verse 15. See, following the teachings of Jesus Christ shows our love for him. 
and our desire to be near him. You see, Jesus has the gospel that is being shared through us to other people. See, his gospel is the way to achieve true happiness and peace. We need that, both in our carnal life, in this life that we're living now, and in the life of eternity that is promised to us. If we strive to live a good life and repent whenever we fall short, we'll feel closer to Jesus and feel his love for us. But we can't do it alone. So as churches open up, find your way to the church. If you can't go to the church physically, watch your congregation on video. Watch it on social media or YouTube. Do not be disconnected. Call the church. Reach out to the leaders or the pastors or the ministers. Let them know that you're still there and you want to continue your walk. That is what the church is for. Don't be adrift. So what I've talked about today, as we begin to return to the church, as the doors are beginning to open, we've talked about the four ways you can come closer to Jesus Christ yet again. Number one, read the scriptures. Look at that New Testament. Understand who Jesus is. Understand the teachings. Understand the examples. Number two, worship him. That means create a relationship with Jesus. Rebuild that habit once again of being connected to Jesus. Talk with him. Be in prayer and give thanks for all that Jesus has done for you. And when you get back to the community, to the body of Christ, and you begin once again to fellowship, number three, serve others. Help out each other. You see, a church body is a family. You have a church family. The benefit of having a church family is you know you're not alone. Most importantly, number four, follow his teachings. The weekly church service provides those teachings from the priest or the pastor or the minister. Understand what is being taught to you. Meditate on it. Read the scriptures provided. Receive the revelation. It is time to get back to the church. The pandemic is in a new season now. It's in a season where church buildings are open. It's a, a season now where fellowship can happen. It's a, in a season now where we can be with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Do not sway. Do not divert away from your path. You see, Jesus has called us to a higher level. And in that higher level, with the motivation, the organization, and the discipline of staying focused on his word, you will have the peace, love, joy, and happiness. That is what Jesus wants you to have. If Jesus wants you to have it, then so should you. That's my message for today. It's to get ready for the doors of the church opening. Take advantage of it. Come back to the church. Thank you for your time. God bless you. My name is Ambassador Professor David Ewan, 
of the Toka Enterprise and president of the Pace Institute. Thank you for joining me.